Hello everybody and welcome back to Advanced Maths. Today we're looking at how to solve simultaneous equations. Okay, so here's a set of simultaneous equations. 9x minus 4y equals 19 and 4x plus 4y equals 20. We're looking for an x and a y such that both of these equations work. Uh, both of them, uh, the first one would be equal to 19 and the second one is equal to 20. And that, there is only one possible pair of 1x and 1y that works. And what we're going to do is we're going to cancel out the y's because they are both 4y and 4y. But one is negative and the other is positive. So to cancel them out, we have to add. We use the, uh, we remember this, add if they're different, same subtract. Add if they're different, same subtract. They are different. One is positive, one is negative. So we're going to add. Okay, so let's add uh, the two equations. Start with the x's. 9x plus 4x is 13x. Minus 4y plus 4y is 0. Remember we are adding, so it's like minus 4y plus plus 4y, which is just adding. And those two cancel out when we add. And then we've also got 19 plus 20 is 39. Okay, we've added each part of the equation. Now we've got 13x plus 0y equals 39, so 13x equals 39. We divide by 13 and we get x is equal to 3. We know what x is now, we can use that to find the y. So, we're going to take one of the equations, doesn't matter which one, and we're going to substitute the x in. We know that x equals 3, so we're going to replace the x with 3. 4 times 3 plus 4y equals 20. 4 times 3 is 12. We take 12 off both sides. So we're just rearranging this equation to find the uh, y now. And we get 4y equals 8. Divide by 4 and we get y is 2. Okay, so I'm just solving this equation now. Now I know that 12 plus 4y equals 20. I rearrange and I solve that and get that y equals 2. And I know that x equals 3 and y equals 2. Um, I'm pretty confident because these are whole numbers. Uh, if they were weird decimals, then I probably made a mistake. But just to be absolutely certain I've got it right, I'm going to check. I'm going to check that x equals 3 and y equals 2 works for both the original equations. So I take the two uh, equations like this, and I replace the x's and the y's with 3 and 2. And you should see that that makes sense. 9 times 3 minus 4 times 2 is indeed 19. 4 times 3 plus 4 times 2 is indeed 20. And it works. So always check your answers make sense by substituting your x and the y into the equation. And there we have it. We've completed example 1. Okay, let's move on to example 2. Solve this in the equations. 2x plus 8y equals 43. And x plus 3y equals 18. Okay, but here, um, none of the terms are similar. So you should see that the y's are different numbers, and the x's, this is 2x, this is 1x. So we can't immediately cancel them out. But what we can do is multiply this, this equation, the second equation, by 2, and that will get us a 2x. So you're going to multiply everything in that equation by 2, and we get 2x plus 6y equals 36. Look at what I did. I multiplied the entire second equation by 2, the, the, first, uh, the x times 2, the 3y times 2, and the 18 times 2, and I got this new equation. And the reason I did that is because now I can cancel out the 2x and the 2x. Okay, now, uh, the 2x and the 2x are both positive. They are the same, so we subtract. 2x minus 2x is 0x. 8y minus plus 6y is 2y. And 43 minus 36 is 7. I have the equation 0x plus 2y equals 7. The 0x disappears, and I divide by 2. 2y equals 7, I divide by 2, and I get y equals 3.5. That is the final, uh, that is the y. I can use that to find the x. So substitute y equals 3.5 into one of the equations. So I get x plus 3 times 3.5 equals 18. 3 times 3.5 is uh, 10.5. 
and we can do the opposite of adding 10.5, we subtract 10.5, and get x equals 18 minus 10.5, which is x is equal to 7.5, and that is um, the x. We now think that y equals 3.5 and x equals 7.5. We're just going to check that we've got it correct by substituting those into the original two equations and just checking they all add up um, to be what we expect them to be. So we substitute it in, um, and 2 times 7.5 is 15, 8 times 3.5 uh, is uh, 28, 15 plus 28 is indeed 43, that works. 7.5 plus 3 times 3.5 is 18, that does work again. Okay, so again, you every single time you do a simultaneous equations, put your numbers back in for a super quick check, that gives you complete confidence that you've done it correctly. And we've got that correct. It does work. It satisfies our check. Finally, let's solve the simultaneous equations 3x plus 8y equals 31 and 5x plus 3y equals 31. Here, the x's and the y's are not the same, so the 3x and the 5x are not the same. 8y and 3y are not, not similar either. So we need to multiply both of these equations uh, to get the x's or the y's the same. I'm going to multiply it to make the x's the same. I'm going to make them both 15x. I choose 15x because that's the lowest common multiple of 5 and 3. So I multiply by 5, multiply by 3. And I get uh, 15x plus 40y equals 155. 15x plus 89y equals uh, 93. Okay. Now, the 15x and the 15x are similar, so we can cancel them out. Okay, and they are both positive, so we're going to subtract. They are both plus 15x and plus 15x. They're the same, so we subtract. Okay, so we subtract. 15x minus 15x is 0x. 40y minus 9y is 31y. And 155 minus 93 is 62. Okay. And we've cancelled out the x's. We've now got 31y equals 62. We divide by 31. And 62 divided by 31 is 2. Now we can replace the uh, substitutes of the y equals 2 into the second equation or into one of the equations, doesn't matter which one. 5x plus 3 times 2 is 31. 5x plus 6 is 31. We take 6 off both sides. And we get 5x equals 25. Divide by 5. x equals 25 divided by 5, which is 5. We now think that y equals 2 and x equals 5. And we're going to just check by substituting those back into the equations, uh, the original two equations, like this. And we get uh, that they do make sense if you work that out. So we are absolutely certain uh, that our uh, two values, x and y, are correct. And that is the uh, answer to uh, question 3. x equals 5 and y equals 2. Okay. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you're ready, you can try today's practice questions. I have uh, some uh, simultaneous equation sets for you to try here. Okay, so I'd like to um, pause the video and try to work these out yourself. There are seven questions for you to try on screen. Um, and uh, this will take you maybe about 15 minutes. Probably a bit longer actually. So pause the video and when you're ready, you can come back and you can try these questions yourself. Okay, I'm about to reveal the answers in three, two, one. Did you get it correct? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching this week's video from Advanced Maths. We have plenty more videos coming every week. So remember to like and subscribe so you don't miss any future videos. We're covering all of GCSE, uh, A-level and IB maths uh, with quick and simple explanations. So uh, definitely worthy, definitely a good idea to check out our other videos. 
Thanks for watching guys and good luck in your exams.